Hello, gorgeous. You're listening to The Girlfriend's Guide to Starting Over. On this podcast, we talk about everything from dating and relationships to personal development. We also speak very candidly about the F word, and by that, I mean failure. So grab a pen, tag a friend, and let's talk about it. All of it. Undergoing, overcoming, and simply trying to make it through. Hello, gorgeous. You're listening to the Girlfriend's Guide to Starting Over podcast, and I'm your host, Kayla. If you are just listening for the first time, then I want to say hello and welcome to my platform. I am so excited that you are here. And as always, if you are a returning listener, hey, sis, welcome back. So it is October, and as promised, we are talking all about authenticity. This month, we're going to cover everything from how to identify your true identity, how to step into that identity, falling in love with the girl in the mirror. And today in particular, we're going to talk about three reasons why women struggle to show up as their authentic selves. Now, as a disclaimer, I just want to say that there are probably dozens of other reasons why we aren't showing up as our authentic selves. But I feel like at the end of the day, it all boils down to these three things. Okay, so grab a pen, tag a friend, and let's talk about it. First things first is perfectionism perfectionism. It's 2023. So literally almost everyone is on social media. And if you've been on social media for a while, or you just got on last night, you have noticed a wide range of flawless photos. Like everybody is perfect in their photos. And it can be overwhelming with a push from Snapchat filters to AI to the literally generalization of the average girl having cosmetic surgery. I'm talking mommy makeovers, BBLs, like lip fillers, permanent makeup, literally all this stuff. And we struggle to show up as our authentic selves lots of times because of the perfection that we see around ourselves. See, many of us have brainwashed ourselves into thinking that the photos that we see online are real. And I'm going to let that sink in for a moment because we see so much of it that we don't recognize that this is not real in many cases. And I noticed it was a problem when it went to AI and Snapchat filters and I started seeing clients and I started seeing patients where there was a true self-esteem hit, like a true, like, woe is me when the girl in the mirror didn't match the girl on the Snapchat filter. Like, that's a problem. That is a serious problem. And I'm not knocking anyone who's had any sort of correction or cosmetic surgery. I've had um, microblading and I've got my teeth fixed, right? Like, I'm not knocking anyone for those things, but my value and my worth was not tied to those things. It becomes a problem when we are tying value and worth to our weight, to our our, our face, to like any of those things, because you, my love, are priceless. You're priceless, but we struggle to show up authentically because so many other people aren't. That takes genuine courage and grit to post a makeupless selfie, to not care that you've got stretch marks on your legs and you're wearing the shorts, to do all the things. It is so frowned upon, but it's the thing that we need to see most of in society so that other people have permission to do the same. Um, Number two, being rational at the expense of our feelings. Being rational. Because as women, like, we are so worried about being called crazy, right? Um, It's because we are often gaslit, we're often mistreated, we're often disrespected. And so you have an immediate emotion and your idea is to be like, set it off, like waiting to excel, light your cigarette, burn up the car. And it's like, it's probably not that serious, but we stifle so many emotions. We don't want to rock the boat. We don't want to upset anyone. We don't want to fly off the deep end. And when we experience real, genuine, raw emotions, someone tells us, you took it too far. It's one of the reasons why I developed the emotional management plan, that mastery plan to teach you how to identify emotions that are 
at a hand and identify situations that might spark those emotions so that we can get a hold on it and we can start creating safe and positive ways to dispel those feelings of like rage and anxiety so that no one calls you crazy and so that you can take control of your emotions so they're not controlling you, right? But we're taught that, oh no, if I say that, they're going to think that I'm out of hand. If I say that, they're going to think I'm too much. If they say that, they're going to think I'm doing the most. And so we stifle those emotions. We stifle those emotions. And that in itself breeds, fuels inauthentic behavior because we're pretending to be okay when we're not. And we pretend to be okay for lots of things, for love, for friendships, for jobs, for all sorts of things. We play the pretend game. Playtime's over as the big leagues, sis. It's time to start handling those conflicts in a healthy way. Reach out to me so that we can dive into that. And that maybe if you're interested, let me know. That's something we can dive into more so in the podcast as well. Okay. Number three is the desire to be liked and accepted or the fear of judgment. There are so many things that we do because we want to be liked because we want to be accepted, because we want to be one of the crew. There's so many things that we don't admit that we like, or we won't admit that it matters to us out of fear of judgment by other people. And I think that also comes along with social media and and group think and wanting to be a cool kid, right? Nobody wants to be the last person picked for kickball. I said that before. Nobody wants to be the last person picked for that. Nobody wants to be the last person invited to the party. But the reality of things is that it is so incredibly important that you remain aligned with your consciousness, which you uh, remain aligned with your morals and your values. Like you might really like Sally and nobody else likes Sally. And if you start ignoring her because nobody else likes Sally, what happens when you're the kid that nobody likes? Whatever happened to treating people the way that you want to be treated? Yeah. That's something to look into. So those are just three reasons that we struggle with being our authentic selves. Guys, this is a marathon. It's not a sprint. And so it's not something that's going to happen overnight. But I want you over the course of the week to really consider these things. Where are you trying to show up perfect? Because that's not going to work. That is so much stress. Number two, where are you stifling your feelings? Where are you trying to be super rational and you're lying about your true authentic feelings? And let's talk about it. Let's hop on a call. Let's talk about it so that you can start to be more honest and give people the opportunity to like and know the genuine you. And then number three, where are you settling or where are you not being your authentic self because you are going along to get along so that they can like you or accept you? Think about it over the week. I love you, girl. I want the best for you, girl. And we will chat in the next one. Well, gorgeous girl, that's a wrap for this episode. I hope you found value, insight, or strength. I hope something was said that gave you the courage to push on a little while longer toward the life of your dreams. If you felt motivated during this segment, screenshot this and throw it in your stories and tag me on social. That way we can keep the message going. Have an excellent day on purpose and we, girl, will talk in the next one.